It's not unusual for presidents to invite members of their family to official White House functions, um, like the state dinner last week. I'm curious, though, in light of some of the recent legal controversy, if the president communicated to members of his family not to conduct business on, on White House grounds. Can you tell us uh, about, it, about any kinds of guardrails that are up? So look, um, I'm going to be, again, very mindful because this is all connected uh, to, uh, uh, to a case that the DOJ is currently overseeing, so I'm not going to comment on that uh, specifically, but as you know, and we have uh, laid out uh, very early on in this administration when it comes to ethics, when it comes to how uh, we all uh, uh, um, uh, kind of move about uh, and how we have we respect uh, clearly the government ethics here. Uh, this is a president. This is an administration has been incredibly transparent on that uh, and has put some very strict uh, strict rules. Uh, and so I can speak to that. I can speak to how the president has moved forward in making sure that uh, uh, the people who work for him and himself are, are, are held to um, uh, kind of a, a strict course of action. But I'm not going to speak to anything that's related uh, to the case. Does I'm going to about guardrails I'm, I'm for just, the president's family. I'm just not going to speak to anything that's related to this Do case. Do any guardrails I'm, exist? I'm not going to speak to anything that is related to this case. As you stated, there are. Uh, we've had uh, when it comes to ethics. We take that very, very seriously here in this administration. Thank you, everybody. You really cannot make this up. How can she stand there on that podium talking about transparency, but at the same time, she refused to answer questions? Amazing.